Hey gamers, today we're breaking down the best Nintendo DS emulators for Android, including where to get them and the key features that actually matter. If you want smooth gameplay and the best DS experience on mobile, let's jump right in. Let's start with Drastic DS Emulator, the emulator that made many people believe DS emulation on Android was even possible. Its biggest strength is insane optimization. Games that struggle on other emulators often run at full speed here, even on older devices. Drastic supports resolution upscaling, custom screen layouts, fast forward without breaking audio and per game settings. Even in 2026, it feels smoother than most alternatives. Although it's no longer available on the Play Store, you can still get it from the developer's official website and trusted communities. Next up is Melon DS, which focuses on accuracy, Wi-Fi features, and long-term support. It prioritizes accurate DS hardware emulation, reducing visual glitches and audio desync that can appear on faster but less precise emulators. It supports real-time clock features for games like Pokemon, and even offers experimental local multiplayer with Wi-Fi functionality. Melon DS is free, open source, and actively developed. You can download it from the Play Store or GitHub. Then there's Lemuroid, a zero setup emulator with automatic core management that makes DS emulation incredibly simple. You don't need to understand cores, download BIOS files, or tweak complex settings. Lemuroid automatically downloads the correct DS core, scans your game folders, fetches box art, and organizes everything neatly. One standout feature is Cloud Save Sync via Google Drive, allowing you to continue your games across multiple devices. It also supports Bluetooth controllers with pre-mapped layouts. Lemuroid is free, open source, and available on the Play Store. After that comes RetroArch, which offers unlimited control through DS cores. Rather than being a single emulator, RetroArch uses cores like Melon DS or Dismu ME to run DS games. It provides advanced features such as latency reduction, shaders, per-game controller profiles, and unified save management across multiple systems. RetroArch delivers one of the most powerful DS emulation experiences on Android. You can download RetroArch from the Play Store or its official website. Next is EmuBox, which focuses on a clean UI with essential emulator features. It offers a modern, dashboard-style interface that feels more like a gaming app than a traditional emulator. EmuBox supports save states, fast forward and external controllers with minimal setup. Games are automatically detected and organized by system, making it great for large libraries. While it doesn't match Drastic's raw speed or Melon DS's accuracy, it performs well for most DS games. Available on the Play Store, finally, there's Super NDS Emulator, a lightweight and practical option. It requires very little from your device, making it ideal for older or entry-level phones. It supports save states, basic touchscreen mapping, and runs many DS games smoothly despite lacking advanced graphical features or full compatibility. While it can't compete with Drastic or RetroArch in terms of features, it gets the job done. Super NDS is available on the Play Store and is often chosen by users with low-end devices. For iOS users, there are two great options. First, INDS has been around for a while, but the community keeps it thriving. Designed exclusively for DS games, it's lightweight, fast, and reliable. Key features include fast-forward mode, a built-in ROM browser, customizable screen layouts, cheat codes, and safety states. Another option is Delta Emulator, one of the most popular and polished emulators on iOS. While Delta is a multi-system emulator, it offers solid Nintendo DS support with a clean interface and excellent stability. It features save states, cheat support, controller compatibility, cloud syncing, and customizable layouts. Delta is officially available through Alt Store, making it one of the safest and most user-friendly options for iOS. So, which Nintendo DS emulator are you using right now? From Drastic's unmatched performance to Melon DS's accuracy and Retro Arch's all-in-one power, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more emulator news and mobile gaming content.